All right, you guys, so I got a pretty cool video today. Uh, this, especially for the tool guys out there, maybe the landscaping guys that work on their equipment and whatnot. This is gonna be an unboxing video um, of these Viera, or Wera, however you wanna say it, the American way or the German way, uh, screwdriver set here. And before we get to that, I figured I'd show you what kind of screwdrivers I used beforehand. Sort of, you guys you've got a Craftsman. Uh, pretty much everybody has one of these. Got a Cobalt one, sort of very similar. Got a Pittsburgh one, and I have a Stanley one. These are sort of the kind of screwdrivers I've been using. Of course, I got a little cheaper ones too, but these are sort of the staple ones I go to for right now. Mainly these uh, Craftsman ones. And uh, let me explain to you why I chose this instead of like going to maybe Lowe's or Sears or something and getting one of their brands like Craftsman. Um, first off, Sears closed down by me. I don't have a Sears with near me for like 50 miles. So if one of these was, one of these was to break, I can't really get it um, warrantied in a decent manner you know if, if I could drive 50 miles to go get one warrantied but by the time I do that I may as well just buy a new one for the gas money I spent to get there you know and Craftsman if you you can't really call Craftsman I've tried to like if you break something of Craftsman which I have multiple times you break it and you try to call them say hey will you warranty this they won't do that they won't send you a new one or anything so that's why I put Craftsman out of the picture Cobalt is next. I, I really like the Cobalt tools, to be honest. Um, this one's kind of rusted. It's probably been left out somewhere. Um, I really like the design of a whole bunch of Cobalt tools. I have a couple Cobalt tools, but a lot of them are made in, you know, Taiwan or China and whatnot. And, you know, nothing really against that, but, um, you know, it's, it's, there's just a, a quality difference that you can feel and tell in the, in the tools that you've been using. Um, but I still like cobalt tools. I Cobalt um, screwdrivers is really like if I'm doing a dirty job and I don't want to sort of ruin like a craftsman like this, I'll grab the cobalt. They get the job done in a fair time. Next one is Pittsburgh. Um, these are probably by far the worst screwdrivers you could possibly own. Not so much the handle. The handle is pretty good. Um, it's the tips. The tips just um, they come out really easily of the screws and they round out very easily as well. The tips of them just get chewed up really easy. They are magnetic, I believe, which is uh, really nice. I think it's the only magnetic uh, screwdriver of these four. Uh, the handle's not too bad. It's not the most comfortable, to, but it's more comfortable than these hard handle ones. So yeah, um, and I think these are only like a dollar or something. So overall, if you need like a good throwaway screwdriver, these probably be okay, but the tips go bad really quick. Um, this one's a fairly new screwdriver to me. Um, this is a Stanley. There you can see the part number on it. Uh, this has been a really good screwdriver. Uh, highly recommend it. Um, the reason I didn't go with Stanley is to get these good quality Stanley ones, you sort of got to go through like a dealer or um, order them offline. Go through like a Proto. Proto is this pretty much the same as Stanley. So it was owned by Stanley, so a lot of their tools are the same. This is a comfortable one. Obviously, it's sort of a copy of a Klein. But yeah, it's got like a nice square shaft here that you could probably get a monkey wrench or a, any type of uh, open-ended wrench and be able to turn a screw really easy. It's got a nice coating on the end too. But uh, I wanted something a little bit more serviceable. And, you know, when you buy these, you sort of buy them individually most of the time. Maybe these craftsmen you buy in a pack. And they come like strung up on a little plastic thing. And now when you look at this, you really see the quality compared to like, you know, at, just at first sight, the quality is there. I mean, you can see this package. It looks like you bought, just bought like a um, $300 set of, $300 pair of headphones or something in this box. Now, this set is uh, 25 bucks off of Amazon, I think. Or 25 or 30 bucks off of Amazon. Um, they are German designed. Um, you know, the, that's hence the name. It's like Wera or Viera. I am German, but I, I don't speak German well. So 
it um, I know the W is a V so it's Viera um, craft form I guess yeah craft form now you can get these in um, three different styles so you can get it like this you can get it uh, the hardened chisel drivers what they call with the metal caps at the end they're a little bit heavier um, but they're a little bit more robust I chose I didn't want those because I didn't want the metal cap at the end because I was work, working around something electric you know just in case and they do make an insulated version of this that are red and yellow that have insulation all the way down to the tip that are like shockproof. So that's nice. I'll give you a rundown of the box so you guys can see how cool this box is. You can clearly see that it's European. Kind of minimal English type. Um, see the comfort grip, the laser tip, anti-roll, um, just the, how the labels are on the top. Uh, I'm guessing that's some kind of pressure. You use less pressure, and the comfort grip. And I'll give you a close up there, sort of safety information. Uh, sort of what's in the package. You can see Germany. It's made in the Czech Republic, which doesn't really bother me. Um, Czech is a good country. Probably uh, better than some of the stuff we put out now. Europe's coming out. I mean, I buy European small engine so I wouldn't see why why not buy European hand tools but all right this is the model 33 334 slash 6 for reference there's two models on Amazon I'll, I'll put a link on Amazon to these in the description but it's got this like plastic shield you slide off here to open it I haven't opened these guys so I'm seeing it as you guys do take like this plastic sheath thing off. There we go. And it uh, peels back like such. And that's what's in the box. So it does come with this plastic holder, apparently. Uh, it looks like it can go in different ways. As you can see, it's got like mounting holes in it. So either, I guess you can put it on like if you use pegboard like I do, or um, I use some of my stuff use pegboard. You can either screw it into the pegboard or you can use like hooks of pegboard. And I'd imagine they'd slide into these slots. And on the other side, it's got like some kind of holder here as well. It looks like that's if you don't want to mount it, maybe set it in your toolbox, which probably is what I'm going to do. So yeah, there's that. The box is like beautiful. It looks like they put a lot of money into the box. So there's the box empty. Imagine these are the screwdrivers in here they look pretty good we got a little plastic bubbly thing here keep them from rattling around all right and grab one of these guys you can see pretty good feel good in the hands they're kind of soft grip kind of as they feel there's the tip on them now there is a couple different um, styles in here, so I'll kind of lay them out here. Hopefully, we that's in the camera view. Well, the flat tipped ones in here that's a Phillips. There's a spade style, there's a little tiny spade style one, and there's another Phillips. All right, so let's see, you got six in a set here. Pretty, look pretty nice. Um, they all sort of have labels on them, as you can see. There, uh, this is like a number two screwdriver. They got that on there, and on the top as well. Phillips number two laser tip, and they got the little plus symbol, so you can easily see it. And I don't know if you guys can see the very tip of that. It's hard to see, hard to tell with a GoPro, but you should be able to see that. It's got like a cuts inside the tip there, and that's from a laser tip. That's Cutting it in with the laser is supposed to give it more, I guess, friction when um, screwing in something. So yeah, these are the um, non-insulated ones. Made in Czech Republic, as you can see. There's the model. This is the big flat spaded um, screwdriver. More laser etching in there. In the hand, they feel pretty good. Um, sort of 
right where you go to grab is sort of where uh, the handle sits. I mean, you've got these two indentations sort of turn pretty nice, feel good in the hand. Got a little tiny guy here. That's I didn't realize that would be in there. That's kind of nice. Uh, that would be really good for small engine work. Good quality it feels as though. Another flat head here. This is probably the screwdriver everybody uses the most, I'd imagine. This and the other flat head. Number two, Phillips. It's usually the most used screwdriver. It's got a good feel to it. Um, you can see the comparison here to one of those um, Harbor Freight style screwdrivers. These are lifetime warranted, which is nice. You can see on the, the shaft of the screwdriver there it says laser tip, which is nice. You can just sort of see the quality difference in the two, just in the plastic, the finish. So you can see the, the edges on that where the the handle meets is really smooth on this Pittsburgh. See, it's all cracked up and it sticks out. You can feel it. You can't feel this with your finger. Definitely a quality thing there. Um, I'm compare it to a Craftsman. I know this isn't a really direct comparison with a Craftsman because this is a, I think these are called like acetate handles or something like that. The hard grip, you can sort of see. So pretty nice, you can, the tips. The Vera or Viera tip is definitely a lot nicer, as you can tell. Definitely has a better finish onto it than the Craftsman. Of course, this Craftsman's this is a newer Craftsman. It's not that old. It's the newer style, uh, probably at most a year old. Uh, it's not a magnetic tip. It's got some sort of finish on the tip which is nice but yeah let's see how they fit in the holder here I guess I imagine that's one way they fit guessing yeah they gotta go in maybe that way and then the other way is probably yeah, thread down like that actually probably go from this way yeah there we go hold it like that it's another big one so I'll stick that up top here Got this guy, that guy fits in there. Put this one in there. Put this guy in there. And actually I'm gonna move and put this guy down here. And that fit in there. There we go. And they did leave us one extra hole. Not sure that's kind of goofy, but I'd imagine that's you know making room of space. Smart thinking, I guess. You can see them all in there. They all look pretty good, good quality. I'm imagining this writing is going to wear off after a while. But yeah, there's your unboxing video, you guys. Hopefully you like that. I know some of my guys are into tools. I like tools. Um, get new tools, unbox them like this. Uh, these are very affordable screwdrivers. Uh, 30 bucks is pretty good, and lifetime warranty, so you know they're going to be lasting pretty good length. Um, definitely quality above these other screwdrivers that I got these like Pittsburgh Harbor Freight style Craftsman they're pretty good uh, Craftsman's good but uh, like I said warranty issues is going to get me on that Cobalt uh, their warranty is good it's just I, I don't like where they're made right now for the same price I could buy one of these um, and the Stanley the Stanley is like bulletproof it feels really good in your hand but um, you know, I wanted to give another brand a try here. These seem pretty good. All right, you guys, tell me what you think. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hope you like this video.